Samsung just dropped big news. Guess what it is? A new surround sound format. Actually, is it new? Stick around and you'll find out in a minute. Dolby and Dolby Atmos have been the industry standard surround sound 3D uh, spatial audio format for the home theater for close to forever, with little competition from those from like DTS or Aura. But recently, they may just have a little bit of competition. That's right, this is just not concept anymore. This is actually going to become a reality. A reality I've been waiting a long time to see come into play. A few days ago, Samsung announced a new 3D spatial audio format that it is going to be bringing to TVs and sound bars. It's called Eclipsa. What is Eclipsa? Eclipsa is a fancy name for what I have been covering, and it's been a year since we've heard any news on this, called IAMF. What is IAMF? It's a new competitive format for 3D spatial surround sound that is potentially going to take on the likes of Dolby and DTS. If you want to find out more information, click the link above. I have two previous videos on IAMF. How are we going to be able to even use Eclipse and Samsung with their new TVs and sound bars? So they're coming out this year. Where's the content going to be available? Well, YouTube and Google have announced that they are supporting and currently support the IAMF format, which includes Eclipse. So if you're a creator, you currently could utilize that 3D spatial sound format create your content, upload it to YouTube, and as soon as those Samsung TVs and soundbars come out, your format would be ready to roll. So I've gotten a lot of questions. Will this be available in, say, a Denon receiver, Marantz receiver, any of the higher end gear? Well, at, at the moment, no, there, there is no option for that. But in the future, yes, we may see that. So why did I even start covering IAMF? Well, IAMF caught my attention, which we can, I guess, now called Eclipse Audio. Um, it's an open source format. And what that means is anyone can use it. Anyone can use it to create content. And any hardware manufacturers can use this technology, embed it into their hardware, and use it license free. What can that mean to the consumer? Potentially lower cost of hardware due to the manufacturers not having to pay the licensing uh, fees that maybe Atmos, uh, or Dolby, and DTS, and some of the other formats uh, charge to incorporate it into their hardware. Will we see this happen right away? No, probably not. And are the manufacturers likely to drop Dolby? No, I, I can't see that happen anyways. So currently, CES is going on, and I know Samsung is there. If you're a creator, if you're a reviewer, someone who's just at CES, please, please step, step over to the Samsung booth, talk to the reps, ask them about this. See if you can get a demo, maybe some additional information, or potentially a release date, and let me know. Comment section at the bottom. I would love as much information as I could get. Um, I've been excited for this format, and I can't wait to see where it goes, and looking forward to future adoption. I have been anticipating this news for a long time, and I'm glad it's finally here. I can't wait to get out my hands on a piece of the equipment and actually try this out. Hopefully, Samsung will have some official, official dates of when we can actually buy a soundbar with this built in and potentially maybe even flash our existing or upgrade our existing soundbars or TV to support this new format. Hopefully, we'll hear it soon. Maybe by the end of CES, we can only cross our fingers and hope. Thanks for watching.